The third shrub is one of the oaks. The reserve has two that are fairly similar, but we're going to be looking at the coastal sage scrub oak with the scientific name Quercus dumosa. This specimen is found near the tick, right at the beginning of the beach trail. It's interesting, when visitors to the reserve are told that this is an oak, they're generally pretty surprised, especially if they're familiar with oaks in other areas. Those oaks are much larger and they have much bigger leaves. Our scrub oak, the Quercus dumosa, is in fact fairly rare, although it's common in the reserve, and it's an endangered plant. It's generally evergreen, though it does randomly shed leaves. It's more of a shrub than a real tree, although you can't find plants that have grown up to 12 feet high. The scrub oak is an early bloomer. The flowers will appear anytime between February and May, really just depending on the conditions. The flowers are fairly inconspicuous. The two things that really stand out and help distinguish the coastal sage scrub oak are its leaves and the acorns. The leaves are small, perhaps up to an inch long at the most. They're generally oblong or elliptical. The leaves are typically wavy and they have small lobes that often end in points or teeth. The new leaves, especially on young plants, may be soft and pliable. On older plants and with older leaves, you'll find that they're generally pretty tough. Here's a young plant on the Guy Fleming Trail, not far from where we found the ceanothus and spiny redberries. The small size and the hardness of the leaf is a useful adaptation for this species. These characteristics really help it cope with the arid Mediterranean climate because the leaves are less likely to lose water than their cousins that live in areas with more water. Though the shape of the leaves of the scrub oak are not exactly like those that you find on its larger cousins, there's enough of a resemblance that the leaf will be a helpful clue for remembering the identity of this plant. And although the flowers of the coastal sage scrub oak are not particularly notable, once they've been pollinated, they form small acorns. Those of the Quercus dumosa tend to be somewhat elongated and skinny, though you can also find ones that are shorter and squatter. If a visitor doesn't believe that this is an oak, just point out one of the acorns. That'll convince them. Finally, we talk about the mountain mahogany.